What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. It's so great to see each and every one of your beautiful faces watching my content yet again. Not gonna lie, today has been busy as. This entire week has been extremely busy. Last week was a shit show. I'm having to claw my way back to routine and you know, nonetheless, it's all good. Whether you're a routine person, organized, or you're a free spirit and you just do spontaneous shit all the time. What can bring us together is easy meals. So kick back, relax. I'm gonna show you today how to pan fry some dumplings. First off, you need a pan. A lot of people online like to use non-stick pans. I always seem to be cooking with a stainless steel. I just love the stainless steel. It's not really that hard to cook with. All you need to do is get this hot. So this has been preheating on low for the last five minutes. I've cranked it up to medium high and literally Making dumplings is so easy guys whether you make your dumplings yourself Or you get frozen ones from the store like I'm using these today. I used these yesterday in a campaign that I was working with a brand and Oh my god, these are delicious like bro, real high quality for some frozen dumplings But I'll cook this up easy as all you need is some high smoke point oil or any oil that you like Add probably a tablespoon in and I'll just get a little serviette and just make sure not to burn yourself and I'll just go around coat the bottom of the pan if you're doing this at home please 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 be a little bit more careful I've got chef fingers now our pan's hot our oil will be hot however many dumpling, dumplings you like Chuck them in. And we're not wasting any time. If you chuck them in, then you can place them. Place them nicely. Make them look a little bit pretty or whatever. Getting all of them flat and uniform. I like putting them all going the same way. I think it just, it's like, just gives army vibes. I don't know why. You can see the dumplings. Here's the pleats, the other side, and then I'm just chucking them all on the bottom. And then that's it. I noticed a bit of smoke coming out. Just lower that down to maybe medium heat. I don't really like cooking my dumplings too fast. And then that's it, make sure your fan's on. For the next three minutes, we just kick back, relax, and you know, just do whatever you want to do. That's really that simple. Yeah, really, really, truly, truly, I wouldn't lie to you guys. Three minutes later, our dumplings are looking good. You can see it's not sticking. This is the type of color that we want on the bottom of all of them. You can see, beautiful. Now we're gonna go with some water. Just enough to cover the bottom. Look. And then it cooks for another three, four minutes until it's fully cooked in the middle. These as just snacks to have for kids after school, bro. Like kids always wanna be eating, they always wanna be snacking. You get a frozen pack of dumplings, you get some soy sauce, and if you, I want to say train them, they're not dogs, but you know, you have to build confidence in them. They need to build their own confidence in a kitchen sense. Frozen dumplings, I think it's a pretty good place to start from. You have a little bit of oil, you're working with the oil, you need to know or see, maybe not see, but you need to know if you don't respect oil, what will happen or your house could go like that but that's not to be scared about it it's for them to like not be jokey jokey about it like you can but not in that kind of like dangerous sense and we'll just build a lot of independence and they'll know how to make dumpling bro dumpling delicious ass seriously if you're not good at cooking or you're learning how to cook or you're teaching other people how to cook get them to set timers on their phone it's really that it's really that and if you're unsure Get the package instructions, just follow the package instructions. Maybe it won't come out the best, but do you need it to be the best? You just need to eat. That's like three, four minutes up. I'm gonna take the lid off. And I'm just giving them like a slight move around. And if they come unstuck like this one, then we're good. That's a good color on the bottom. So another tell, 
you can see the skin it's quite I don't want to say gelatinous but it's bouncy it's bouncy it's not hard it just looks different to when we put it into the oven so me with all my experience I know this is cooked for someone learning or someone new just rip it open rip it open yeah that's hot on the outside and that's hot in the middle this is my homemade chili oil that I made for a campaign yesterday it's looking pretty good oh, I'm pretty happy with it the only thing it's bloody hot it's butthole burning hot I'm a spice fiend I like it's just spicy shit in general but when I tell you this is hot and I have a killer tolerance this I rated this when I was talking about it today 8.5 and I'm just gonna go all over one for luck and we go another one for color that's all for me soy sauce in the middle and it literally doesn't need to be pretty we have our dumplings Shout out to everyone supporting the content. I love each and every single one of you so much. I'm willing to share my food with you. Mmm. Yum. The dumplings are mean. The chili oil is spicy, fragrant, aromatic. It just gives you that punch. A store bought, it will be good too. I wouldn't write store-bought chili oil off. Mmm. Real juicy. The chili oil is spicy. I'm gonna leave you all right there. I've got a whole plate of dumplings to eat, soy sauce and chili oil included. Like I said about your kids, three, four times, just give them a helping hand, a supervision, and build up their confidence within the kitchen. Next time they come back from school, they will be whipping up their own dumplings, get a little bit of soy sauce on the side, and they're away. That's it, I hope you enjoyed the content. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up in the comments or on IG if you wanna see me cook up something that you wanna see. And I'll see you on the next one.